In today's video, we're going to explore the differences between SAS and SCSS. If you've worked with CSS preprocessors, you've probably heard of both, but what exactly sets them apart? Before we start, let me clarify one thing. Both SAS and SCSS are part of the same scripting language that compiles into CSS. They offer the same powerful features, making writing CSS easier and more powerful such as variables, nesting, partials, mixins, and functions. So what is the difference? Actually, the difference lies in their syntax. Let's start with SAS. SAS stands for Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets. It's known for its indented syntax, which means you don't need curly braces or semicolons. For example, here's a simple SAS block. As you can see, only indentations are used to define blocks of code, no semicolons and no curly braces. On the other hand, SCSS, which stands for Sassy CSS, follows the more traditional CSS-like syntax, meaning you will still use curly braces and semicolons to define blocks of code. Here's what the same code looks like in SCSS. Notice how it looks almost identical to regular CSS with just a few added features like nesting. Another difference is their file extensions. It's a small detail, but SAS and SCSS files have different extensions that reflect their syntax. SAS files use the SAS extension, while SCSS files use the SCSS extension. This allows you to quickly identify which syntax you're dealing with at a glance. Another difference is community preference, and I think it's an important one. SCSS tends to be more widely adopted, especially in larger teams and projects. This is mainly because SCSS closely resembles regular CSS, making it easier for developers transitioning from standard CSS. That's all. Thanks for watching. 